Hello guys, and welcome to episode 26 of my Yash campaign in Stone Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Previously we used the 161st to absolutely annihilate a unit with a total victory. Now what we're going to be trying to do is break down uh, this group of forces. So we've got to decide where we want to attack. There's quite a lot of options. We can attack the recon squadron here. We could attack the guards uh, division HQ, uh, which is disorganized, so that would destroy them. Uh, the 1st Battalion of the 15th Infantry Regiment. We attack those. Uh, looks like the Army Corps HQ can join in. That's all. That's not too bad. Uh, what about the 40th Pioneer Battalion? That would reinforce with two units. The 55th Engineer Battalion will reinforce with these two. The reason I'm looking at this is because if I say attack the Guards Division HQ and then they try and reinforce that with units in B, it could take away from their options when we attack further to the right. The other thing about this is if I attack the 1st Battalion of the 15th Infantry Regiment, which is what I was looking at doing last episode, uh, it might end up pushing the Guards Division HQ in the way of the 161st, and I want this to become a salient down near the river. So I think this is our best bet, and then I can attack it from the left-hand side, uh, bring in a couple of units and like a unit to reinforce in Phase B, and then we tactical battle. If they bring in these guys, we just total victory them and wipe them out. I think that's probably the best bet. Oh, okay. They didn't even try and reinforce. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that works too. All right. Um, does kind of leave us in a bit of a weird spot when it comes to attacking further down. Maybe we could get away with attacking the 20th Recon group. They're not very strong, but... Neither are the units that would reinforce them. What about the 20th Recon group? What happens if we attack those? Right, we don't really have enough to do that. Uh, 55th. Okay, I think 55th is our next best bet. Just go for a total victory versus these three. They do have the Kalari, and they also have um, the Dame and the Kalari and Rukrutsi. Hmm. Okay, well, nothing like crazy. I think we just go in here. I really wish I had access to some cartouches or something, make this a lot easier against the uh, pioneer units. And maybe bringing in the 72nd guards isn't a bad idea because then we can use the 122nd in phase B. But we would be at a disadvantage in phase A. And if I want to go for a major victory, not the best idea. How are their mortars looking? They've got 81 mil mortars. And that is it. I think I might actually make use of these A19-122 mils in battle. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, let's tactical battle. And we'll jump on in. It looks like it's going to be 1v3. They didn't actually reinforce. Okay. Well, that's good. It's going to help us destroy another unit. They are going to be quite a pain to get rid of, though, because they are close-range infantry. We don't really have much to match up to that. I could put Avtos through the trees, but if they outnumber us uh, in the trees with Pioneers, I lose a lot of troops very quickly. I guess I don't normally use the Avtos anyway, so using them now isn't necessarily a bad idea. Yeah, let's just bring in Avtos uh, for the right side here. And we'll bring in some Avtos for the left side. Got another Guards Rifle Regiment here. I think I had more left in the other one, but... Bring in these Avtos like so. And these ones can push through those trees. I should probably get some that go on the low ground here as well. Really don't use these Avtos enough, so... I'm just make sure to bring them all in. Cool. So that sorts out our right and left side, although I probably will want to support them with like Kavadi DP, but I'm probably going to do that after the start. Up in the center, we're going to do Kavadia, probably a sniper, then a leader. 
So, uh, with the 106th, we'll bring in just loads of Maxims in the center. That can help out with the snipers and any other infantry. Spread them out a bit. We'll have some Cavalier DP press on the town. Don't have to worry about AT guns. Maybe, maybe um, AT rifles, but not sure. Anyway, we'll have three of these unload on the right side there. Three of them can head towards the town. Once we capture the hill, we'll put Maxims up there. And then what I'm going to do with the rest of my points is buy in the artillery. Okay, launch the battle. If we see any machine guns or galari, we will hit them with the 122mm A19s. These are pretty accurate range, so that's good. I will want to get some radios up to the front line though. Uh, maybe I could put my commander further up. Because the GV Comrade don't provide radios. I don't really have anything that provides radios, so I guess the V is a VOD or the Artillerist. I could use an Artillerist. A couple of those. Give myself a corrected shot. Not the worst idea. Right, let's just unload these early, and uh, those can push into there, these can push into here. Uh, we'll have these unload and push forwards. We'll start smacking these with artillery shots. I'm hoping we're close enough there to just delete that. Get the artillerist down and start pushing forwards. I don't know if these artillery shots are really going to help much, but we'll give them a go. Uh, let's put in some more artillery across the front here. I haven't seen any of their close range infantry yet. I guess I just don't really have much left. Well, surely they do. Well, the Commandant's dead anyway. We've already taken the town area here. I'm just going to spread these out to capture all of that town. We'll keep the Gavardia moving across in the open. And these can continue on the right. Uh, these Gavardia can spread out for the town as well. We are being hit by the mortar there. Looks like the Maxim might die. I think I'm hitting my own guys here with um, artillery shells. Yeah, we are. Oops. Let's push these across the middle. Oh, these are Pioneer Assault. Oh, that's not very fun. There's a lot of them as well. And no wonder they're dying. But this is exactly what I was worried about. If they outnumber us in the close range, we die. Simple as that. So, best bet here is to just smash this with artillery. Then hope for the best. Alright, let's move the artillerist forwards. Gotta keep going. Get across this field. 
We lost a couple of Avtais. It's okay. I don't know if this artillery is really going to do too much. Let's get some more Gavardia to just help in the middle and on the right hand side. Another Pianelli assault. Take them out. If I can get enough guns on target, we will delete them very fast. Okay, right, we'll have this move through and just kill off that with this PTRD. Grab my artillery. Start just hammering this forest here. Uh, these ones might as well move through there. We'll have the Cavalier move for that flag. Currently 17 to 7. So that's a major defeat. We will want a total victory if we can get it. What I'm going to do is just place these units onto the flags. It must be this side somewhere. I'm just going to get some snipers to come out. Because it's mostly close range infantry. Alright, that's it. That's every flag taken. Don't really need to worry about these troops coming this way. But yeah, I think they're pushing to the right hand side here. Keep these pushing up. Darty that right side. Okay, never mind. Total victory, 7 minutes 56 seconds. We did lose 3 units of Avtos to those PNR. Assault. Assault. They are pretty difficult to deal with. But yeah, that's the unit destroyed. No way they could bring in enough to stop that. Cool. Anything else I can hit while I'm here? Unfortunately, we're not ready to hit the 23 con group. We can attack the 2nd Battalion of the 5th Heavy Artillery, but probably more of a priority to take out the 4th Infantry Division HQ before it digs in. Could also go for the 13th Infantry Division HQ. That would probably be a better bet, because I could move into there, that will push them off so they don't get dug in. I'm also going to have to do the same here with the 18th Mountain Division uh, HQ, so yeah, we'll have to do that. Alright, I'm going to move this onto the road. I need a unit that can get all the way down here. I guess we'll move up the 53rd Guards Rifle Division HQ just to push this into the front line so we don't have that in trouble. Alright, we'll move forwards the AA again. Pop that up. I'm going to have to move this one over. Down. Pop that one up. We are kind of getting ahead of ourselves a little bit here, ahead of the AA at least, but this is vulnerable. Uh, however, if anything anything here attacked us, it would probably just kill it on the ground before the aircraft even became a problem. Okay. Got to decide where to put these troops behind. Probably going to bring this one down this way. Could move in next to the 23 con group, but I kind of need to uh, tuck into here.
bring down the third battalion and sixty seventh Howard's uh, uh, brigade. I don't think we'll need them on the left side there anymore. Not with them both dug in. So there is no more attacks here. Just double checking. The Guards Rifle Regiment. I'm going to move them round into that gap. Sixth Airborne Division HQ can be there to reinforce if needs be. Same deal with the uh, 115th Guards AT Regiment. Just going to keep them on the road for the time being. Uh, I might bombard this unit and then we'll move forwards my catchers. Although saying that, I don't think I need to. If we get attacked, they'll be able to reinforce, so no point in doing that. Uh, let's just move this forwards the artillery as much as possible and the 25th Guards Rifle Corps HQ I can move into the gap over here probably. All right. So uh, these guys might as well push forwards. This is all artillery, so they're not going to get attacks. We attack this unit, the 20th Recon Group can reinforce. It might be worth trying that first. And even if it fails, we're probably going to go in here with the 222nd or 224th Guards Rifle Regiment. Then again. I'm going to need that to hit the disorganized unit. That would be a tough attack. I think it'd be better if we just went for the 13th Infantry Division here. Take these in A. Take a unit in B. Uh, let's take the 81st Guards Rifle Division HQ. And tactical battle. And jump on in. Alright, they didn't reinforce. That's a shame. But again, another easy unit to kill. I was really hoping for some like better better battles, I guess. Uh, these are, all seem a bit too easy, especially considering they should be trying to hold on to the last man. There are a lot of AT guns, so Human wave is probably best tactic here. We just deploy all of our Gavadia at the start and just run towards them. I'll mix in some Gavadia DP and some sprinkle some snipers through. Uh, Maxims are going to be too slow. All right, um, let's just launch the battle and we'll see how we get on. Alright, off we go. Cypher's leading the way. Gonna help us spot stuff. And then... After that, I'm thinking artillery. Like some 120 mils might be a good idea just to help clean up any AT guns. I might just bring some in to the center here. They might also have a decent amount of mortars themselves. 120 mils should be fine. Let's just not put them in the same place. Keep them spread out. I'll speed things up a bit. Not going to be like the most exciting battle ever, so just try and get through it ASAP. Yeah, let's unload that. There is one of them. Oh yeah, they do have HE shells on some of these guns, don't they? That is a good point. And things like this Hotchkiss are going to actually be pretty annoying to deal with, so... We'll bring in even more 120 mils. Yeah, look at them all. Damn. Didn't appreciate that there would be the uh, the ones with the HE shells there. The sniper's probably going to die. Mm, 
I'm saying that. I don't know. Let's uh, go ahead and start mortaring these. I think I'm just going to have to put a mortar on each one because there's just so many of them. Sniper died. That's a lot of dudes. Well, at least a lot of guns. I think I need just loads of snipers. That would probably be the fastest way to take them out. Even if it is quite risky. On the right, it's not so bad because we're more we're in close range, so the rifles can hit them pretty quickly. And bringing in the mortars was super important. Uh, my sniper died again. Let's have these now push forwards. Gonna need some supply here. Take out those two units, that's good. Keep carrying on. My left hand side. These are a bit rough. Bring up the OBs here. Bring up some more snipers for the right. Okay, good. Alright, that should be dead. Watch kids taken out. I'll unload these OBs a bit further up now that those uh, 20 mils are more or less dealt with. Uh, we're going to need some more units to come through there as well. Do we have more snipers? We do. Body unit going down. These support weapons are really hurt. They really do. Uh, we need to take out the AT there first. Another sniper dead. Right, let's keep these going. Actually, that unit may as well stay where it is. Then when we're setting fire, this can go across the open. These can also keep moving up. Though bees are going to help with that AA quite a bit. So many like AT guns and stuff, it's ridiculous. Okay, we're hitting that Shvaloza nicely. Okay, 
Those guys need to fall back if they can. Keep those back. Let's send these Givardia forwards. Snipers did their job there, that's good. How are we doing mortars wise? I mean I might just hit this unit with a bunch of mortar fire. The Hotchkiss trucks coming at us is kind of annoying. Unless I start bringing in AT guns. Got those mortars firing away. And we've got to push these across the open. Good. Sniper can move forwards now, provide recon. Move up the OBs onto the hills. Uh, actually, it might be best to just ignore that, use the Gavadia DP to clean up that AT. to phase B. A bit slower than I expected actually. We are going to stay, take it, start taking some serious ground. Some more Gavardia. Nice touch gets goes down. Hopefully that AT gun dies. Has a lot of mortar fire. A lot of 120 mil mortar fire. Yeah, there we go, we got it. Sniper taken out by the Infanterist. Right, let's bring in some more Gavardia there. They're close to a lot of flags. Just got to take out the units in our way. And hopefully these won't get destroyed, but we'll, we'll just go for it. See what happens. Another flag taken. Okay, we can pick off those guys now. Good. 18 to 6. That is a major victory. We do want a total victory if we can get it. I'm bringing a couple of stuff to just shoot that 20 mil. And I should probably do the same over here actually. Just bring in a bunch of uh, this threes up on the hill. That will help us secure the way much easier. We do the same up here as well, but just got to be careful of that 20 mil. Do I have any more snipers? I do have a couple more. Maxisms aren't a bad idea either.
Okay. Uh, let's see. Unload these in range. Dude, let's have that come out and hit the Infanterist as well. All of these should keep pushing. Grab my mortars. I'm going to have all of these push forwards. Oh, I did lose one of my OBs, unfortunately. Still hadn't killed that 20 mil somehow. Some more mortars on this side. 19 to 5. Gotta keep this up. Gotta keep pushing. Twenty, we need twenty one. Where's the twenty first flag? Left side. Probably the closest. Just unload these. Smash that area. Hopefully we make it. Oh, come on. Ah, major victory. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> 15 minutes, 29 seconds. Uh, that's a shame. We lost a lot of snipers for that. And the OB. Maybe a bit careless with the snipers, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. We annihilated them. Yeah, they actually died anyway, so it didn't matter. Cool. <laughs> that works. Uh, gets rid of the dug-in unit, or the unit that was going to dig in. Forced the 4th Infantry Division HQ to move. So that's all well and good. Now we're going to attack the 18th Mountain Division HQ. I mean, I could also attack the 2nd Battalion of the 20th Infantry Regiment. That might be better. Uh, but then again, we're only going to have one unit in phase A. So that would actually be a harder attack. Uh, it'd be the same, actually, if we attack the 18th Mountain Division. Uh, okay. How else can we do this? We could attack this unit. But then I'm probably dragging in the 222nd Guards. Uh, it doesn't seem like a good idea. We could do a Phase A and B push. If I chill in Phase A and then, like, in Phase B we push really hard. Gonna have a lot of mortars at my back. Hmm. I think I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do on the right hand side first. So these guys are staying dug in, which is fine. These guys are definitely attacking. I'm not gonna be attacking into the first battalion of the fourth motorized infantry. They'll probably be attacking into something like the 2nd Battalion of the 90th Mountain Group to stop these two digging in. That would call in three units in Phase A. That would still be three units in Phase A, but we won't have to deal with the defences. So I think the 90th Mountain Corps would be the best attack to make. Then I could do two and then three. This disorganized unit we wouldn't be able to destroy. But I can't go into a phase A battle without reinforcements. Hmm. I mean, it could be a job for the bombers. It's a pretty important attack. I need to secure Targa from us. 
I need to stop them digging in here. Otherwise, it's going to really slow us down a lot. I think I'm going to attack the 18th Mountain Division it, um, here. And we'll do this. This tactical battle. Okay, never mind. I didn't reinforce. Okay, cool. That does leave the 233rd Guards quite vulnerable. But if I move these onto the road, they can probably come in phase B. These can probably come in phase B. Um, so that should be okay. Alright, that's a bit of a shame. Um, I'm going to move these guys back for now. I don't want them to get isolated. Is there a way that I could bombard these? Mm, no, unfortunately not. Let's move this forwards. Deploy again. Um, gonna move the 104th guards over here, and the 72nd can move up behind these two units. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's start bringing these forwards because I don't think they're really helpful that far back. This one might be helpful. Probably better to move it onto the road though for future attacks. And this one is also useless, so we move that forwards as well. Okay, so that is a lot of the movement on the left side done. We've got these all moved. I'm going to keep those where they are. This is all fine. We can move these guys forwards. Blowing AA only takes two. So that's fine. Uh, moving the 20th Guards Tank Brigade might be an idea. They can reinforce in Phase B though on this attack. That's probably a good idea. If we use them in that attack. We do one, two and then three. So they'll end up moving and then the AA can move further to the right or down. And down might be better. Uh, yeah, probably. I probably should have uh, moved this one as far as I could actually, just so that it helps cover the front line. Uh, what else can we do? All right, let's have a look. So we're going to make the attack on the second battalion of the 90th Mountain Corps. That we know. Uh, there is. Is there going to be chance to attack anything else? I don't think so, because this will be using one, two, three. The only other one that can attack in phase A will be the 401st. The rest of these, any unit we're not going to move, we can move. I might as well move up the 540th Rifle Regiment, but no point in really doing much of that until we know exactly where they're going to land. So, yeah, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to leave it here. A little bit shorter than usual, but I don't really want to commit to this battle just yet because it's going to be quite a big one, especially if they reinforce. So, yeah, next time around, we'll wipe out the 2nd Battalion of the 90th Mountain Group, and then we'll move into Targul from Moss a bit better, just secure this objective which is really important, and then maybe try and get into a position where we can rush down this road. Alright, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,